What's up guys, Marcus here, today I'm going to be talking about Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. It is directed by J.J. Abrams, written by him and Chris Terrio, starring Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill, Adam Driver, uh, Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, I think that's it. And it's awful, it's really one of the worst movies I've ever seen, period. Not just this year, not just this month. It's this decade is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I mean, uh, I, I hated TLJ. It was awful. Uh, the story doesn't make any sense. But I liked it better than I did Rise of Skywalker. Uh, at least TLJ is well directed. I think Ryan Johnson is actually a good director. I don't know about his writing. And I think... I've only seen TLJ from him, uh, I'm gonna see Looper this weekend, and I'll see if I can watch Knives Out as well to make a review on that, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time near the Christmas period, so if I do, I'll make a video on it, if not, I'll make a video only when I see it like a couple months from now. Either way, I think Ryan Johnson is a good director, which is why I think TLJ is a very nice looking movie, it's very pretty to look at. I mean, the the battle in Crate, it's visually stunning, I really like it. Uh, when Hodo hits her ship on light, with light speed on the, the First Order ship, it's visually great. It's, the, it's something that is very pretty, yes, but the story doesn't make any sense. Which is why TLJ is better than Rise of Skywalker, because the story doesn't make any sense, it makes even less sense than TLJ, and the directing is very poor. It's so meh, the, the, the directing, it's nothing. And I mean, the story is the worst story I've ever seen. I mean, not the worst story I've ever seen, I mean, there are movies like Suicide Squad or Internet the Movie that are awful, but... It, it's one of the worst stories I've ever seen. It doesn't make any sense, none of the characters are developed. The best character in the movie is Poe, but he isn't developed at all. I mean, kind of developed. He, he doesn't have an arc, you know. Uh, we get to know his backstory, but he doesn't have an arc. Um, Finn is nothing in this movie. If he wasn't in it, I mean, I don't think it would change a lot. And I say that because John Boyega... He said that, oh, it's so cool, I'm finally gonna have something to do in this movie. But he actually didn't, he didn't do anything, you know? And Rey is the most overpowered character in the entirety of anything ever. <laughs> She's just such a Mary Sue, Marie Sue, right? Hey, can anyone say Mary Sue? <sighs> it's so awful, I hated this movie so much. And I was laughing so hard at some points, but some of the others were just like, fuck off. And I mean... Uh, it's worse directed than TLJ, and uh, in comparison to TLJ, TLJ I liked two scenes from that movie, this one I only liked one. Uh, in TLJ I liked uh, the scene where uh, Luke is in the Millennium Falcon, and R2-D2 shows the hologram of Leia from A New Hope, I thought that was a nice scene. And another one is when he meets Leia uh, in, by the end of the movie, I mean, by the context and whatever, it's pretty meh, pretty pretty bad. But uh, I like, uh, but I like Mark Hamill meeting Carrie Fisher for that moment. I thought that was cool. But the, this movie, Arise of Skywalker, the only scene I liked is one scene, sort of. I don't know, in the end of the second act, I think. It's regarding Leia. And chewy and I think it's very good I think it's well made because of the involvement I have with the characters from the original trilogy not because of anything that happened in the in the sequels hey just really quickly another thing that I liked but it's for all Star Wars movies I liked was the John Williams score he's and he's amazing in making the Star Wars score so yeah props to him but the rest of the movie pretty awful but yeah i mean i hate the sequel so much every disney movie every disney star wars star wars movie i hate because there's 
just trying to copy or making things that don't make any sense and missing completely the point of what made the OT so great. Oh uh, yeah. I give this movie a 1 out of 10. It is the lowest rated movie I've reviewed in this channel. Even lower than us that I hated. If you remember that, I said, have you ever seen a movie that failed on every level? Yeah, this movie failed more than us. It makes even less sense. I mean, ah, it's such a nonsensical story with character motivations that don't make sense. Uh, they... JJ disregarding the fact that TOJ happened, you know, it's such... I laughed at some bits, but sometimes I was just sad. I was like, this is what Star Wars has come to. I really like the OT. I actually like the prequels. I mean, I know they're bad. I, I, give them, I gave them low ratings on IMDb and whatnot. But I like them because they're like funny to watch and they're interesting. And compared to the sequels, they're, the characters are way more developed. It's uh, maybe boring, maybe have Jar Jar, but it's still better than the sequels, and the sequels are just so bad, I... Yeah, I rambled on too much, I think this is gonna be one of my longest reviews. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, bye bye!